All right. Super excited for today's video. We're going to be taking a look at forward slash ES, the futures. Uh, we're going to do a VIX breakdown. Okay. So if you want to stay tuned uh, to the end of the video, if you actually really want to see the VIX update, okay. But it's really important that I think we cover these critical areas uh, that we are approaching on forward slash ES. All right. Um, and they're the levels that I gave you in the last video. We've been hitting those levels and pushing and pushing higher. Okay. Now, what are these levels you may be asking, right? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull up our volume profile here. Okay. Um, and that's what all of this is over here, right? So all of these right here, that's what's known as our volume profile. Okay. So this down here is what's known as volume by time. Okay. These uh, blue bars right here, this is what people track mostly. Right? Now, volume by price is super, super important. Okay. Because it's actually going to show you where there's high volume by price action right versus by time and the way that the stock market works is you move from high volume nodes like these down to high volume nodes like these okay and then down to high volume nodes like these right and you go from lows like these right to other high volume nodes upwards all right now we've been monitoring this i've been keeping updates okay and originally i said that the futures look like they're going to come over and hit this 4200 level right at our high volume node okay that's our highest volume node right here and i said that you know if we break through this essentially volume gap right here all right and get uh and head forward right we're going to move quickly up to these levels okay now with that being said um you know i also mentioned that the market looks like it really, really wants to push, and it looks like we could head up towards the next highest volume node at 4,500, okay? So that's currently where I think that the market can go, okay? Um, you know, I've been in a couple bullish plays. I have a couple bearish plays as well, um, but, you know, the bullish plays are really, really performing well right now. I mean, you know, we went from like two months ago, okay, uh, to being, you know, around 3,700 and we're already back at 4,300. All right. We were able to hit it. Um, we did have fallen below, okay, and dipped slightly. All right. But in retrospect, we have not really pulled back very much. Now, that being said, okay, if we go ahead and zoom in just a little bit more and take off uh, and not pay so much attention to the volume profile, okay. We do have this very nice channel that we have been trading in. Okay. Um, as you can see, we have a rejection up here. We got two rejections up here. This could be our right, our third rejection, or we're gonna have a breakout to the upside. All right. And if we do, we're gonna head towards that 4,500 level over here, which makes sense, right? We're gonna move to the next high volume node. Okay. And we're also um, you know, looking to catch that breakout to the upside. Right. So if you get a breakout, it would be an aggressive breakout. And now whether we completely reverse the overall downtrend would be another story. OK, we'd have to take out these highs up here at forty six hundred and then take out these highs here at forty eight oh eight. Right. But until then, um, you know, this is really another critical area. OK, we came up to the forty three hundred level. Right. And I said that most likely we would come up here and test the top of this trend line. Um, and we're going to see, all right, are we going to get a rejection? Are we going to get a, a strong breakout to the upside and end the bear market? Or are we going to get a look above just to fail right? and come back and trade back down in these ranges and possibly head back lower to the bottom of this channel? All right. So those are some scenarios. Um, but for right now, I'm going to look at the VIX and show you guys why the market looks good to me and why I think we can keep rallying. Okay. So, um, I, right here, what I do want to highlight, okay, is within the past year, um, these have been the lows on VIX. Okay. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the lows over here. All right. At this one, we have this low right here. Okay. And we have these lows down here. All right. These are the areas that I think VIX is going to keep heading down towards okay so we'll break it down a little bit more on our uh one hour chart okay and zoom in and we're going to really look at the price action of the vix and try to comprehend and break down what it did today all right so the first thing i want to highlight is that the um, market is pretty much going to stay bullish all right if vix is below this level right here okay so 20 
20.5 is your critical level, right? If we stay below 20.5, the market is generally going to stay bullish, all right? Um, it's just an indicator that we are, um, you know, just seeing less volatility, okay? Meaning that, you know, there's less hedging going on in the market, right? So people are less defensive in the market and it suggests a more risk on environment. Now, what have we seen, right? As VIX has been trading below 20.5, we've seen AMC squeezing and running hard. We've seen GME squeezing, running hard. We've seen BBBY, right? Um, I've covered tons of other tickers that have been short squeeze candidates, right? We've seen plenty of stocks um, go up, you know, anywhere from 20% to 100% in the past month, right? So there's been lots and lots of movement, right? And we're not seeing very big movement on the VIX, okay? Now, it did tank beautifully, all right? And that kind of, you know, started our rally. And we've been holding this level right here, okay, at 20.95 right here, okay? We've been holding this as a very nice resistance level, all right? We had a huge monster gap up, okay? That's what this blue box is. If you watch my videos, I chart these gaps up um, pretty much every day. And they fill about 90 to 95% of the time. Now, if you look at the price action for today, VIX shot up, right? On Friday, here was our close on Friday. On Monday, we shot up all the way up to here. Now, this wasn't a reason for me to panic in the market. I actually saw it as a really great opportunity because I could either look for a bullish entry on SPY or the stock market um, at 2201 as a resistance level, right? If I wanted to be really patient and try to quote unquote buy the dip for intraday to swing trade, or what I my plan was, was as soon as we broke below this level here, okay, our 2095 level that I keep mentioning, as soon as I saw us broke below that, um, you know, then I was like, okay, most likely we're gonna come down and start filling this gap. Now we didn't fill all of it, okay? We still have a level right here, um, you know, a little bit left of the gap to fill, all right? So I will go ahead and readjust that for you guys real quick, um, just so, you know, we can have some accurate data, all right? So the levels you need to watch out for is 1981, all right, down to 1959. That is the remaining portion of the gap. Um, so, you know, be looking for the VIX to fill this gap sometime here uh, within the next week, most likely. Now, that's no guarantee. It could take, um, you know, a month. It could take two months, three months for it to fill. All right. Let's go over those bottoms real quick that I was referencing. Um, so we have 1845 is really going to be the breaking point. OK, uh, me personally, I'm a little bit more cautious about this bull rally. Right. Like I'm trading it bullish, right, and, and getting into some bullish positions, but I'm not necessarily going all in uh, with my whole portfolio and, you know, expecting everything to stay up, right? I'm, I'm, you know, just playing the levels currently, but, you know, this level down here at 1845 is going to be a strong bounce level, in my opinion, for the VIX, all right? Um, you know, we're either going to come down and start bouncing around this level, uh, or we could drop a little bit lower down to 17 area. But, you know, these are areas where it's going to be really risky to be going super long in the market and to be going all in. The time to be going all in on the market, right, is when VIX is really high, when the fear index is really high, okay? Um, these were the areas in the past year where you wanted to go long. You wanted to go long around the Fed meetings and the rate hikes, okay, because VIX was peaking, right? We had We were getting peak fear up in these levels. All right. And VIX was up at 34, 31, 38. And again, now we are trading below uh, 20.5. So, you know, things look bullish for the short term, but you do have to be cautious of a pullback. Right. If VIX comes down, consolidates here a little bit and starts to reverse and start an uptrend, you can expect to see the market to pull back.